Good morning, friends and family in Jesus. Uh, welcome this morning. If you have your Bibles with you, I just want to read three uh, scriptures this morning out of the book of Acts. So if you want to follow with me in Acts chapter 4 uh, from verse 18. So Acts chapter 4 from verse 18. Uh, I want to start it off with a question. And the question is, is there something that you just absolutely cannot stop talking about? Um, when you get to a social event, a party, or a, a, a barbecue, or um, even, even here at church, when you get to the church, is, is there something in your life that you just cannot stop talking about? Something that you saw? Something that you experienced, um, something that happened to you or a family member, um, you know, something that made a huge impact in your life. So keep that in mind as we read this scripture. So um, this is where uh, Peter and John are brought before the Sanhedrin and they have to answer for, um, you know, uh, for, for the healings and, and for spreading the gospel. And so this is what happens in verse 18. Um, the Bible says, Then they called them in again and commanded them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John replied, Which is right in God's eyes, to listen to you or to him? You be the judge. Then verse 20. As for us, we cannot help speaking about what we have seen and what we have heard. We cannot help speaking about what we have seen and what we have heard. Family in Jesus, last night, um, I was talking to a brother in Christ and uh, a subject came up. Uh, about uh, people that are serving the Lord or people that are not serving the Lord. And early on in the week, uh, one of my children asked me the same question. Um, why, why do some people um, meet the Lord and then shortly after that move away from the Lord? But then there are other people that meet the Lord and stay with him forever. And the question or the answer, family in Jesus, is plain and simple. We saw it here in, in this scripture. The reason why some people meet the Lord and then move away is because of one word in that sentence, is meet. Unfortunately, they, they did not meet the Lord face to face. They heard of him. But they did not meet him. And here we can see exactly the same thing happening. The Sanhedrin at this very moment did not meet the Holy Spirit face to face. Maybe they hadn't even heard of him. So that is why they were reacting in the way that they were reacting. But Peter and, and John stand up and they say, how can we not? Speak about that that we have seen and that we have heard. Meaning that family in Jesus, if we are true disciples of Jesus Christ, then, then, then we, we must walk a similar life to what Jesus walked. And Jesus says it um, to his disciples and to his followers when he was walking on earth. Jesus said that you, you will do the same things that I did. You will do even greater things. And that a servant is not above his master. And so whatever Jesus went through, we will go through. And Jesus taught his disciples that I don't do anything, I don't say anything, unless I see my father do it. And here the disciples, Peter and John, are saying exactly the same thing to the Sanhedrin. They are saying, we, we have to do this because we saw it. And that shows that the disciples spent an immense amount of time with the Holy Spirit in prayer, seeking the face of, of Jesus. 
to find out what Jesus wanted them to do that day. And so the Holy Spirit showed them, whether it was in dreams, whether it was in, in a vision, whether it was in their spirit. And they would go out and they would do exactly that. And so Peter and John are saying to the, the Sanhedrin, yeah, how can we not speak about what we have seen and what we have heard? We, we can't. It's our life. And so family in Jesus, I want to end this morning with the same question that I asked. Is there something in your life that you just cannot stop talking about? Because you've seen it and you've heard it. And then this morning I hope and I pray for you as my brother or my sister in Christ that that one thing that you cannot stop talking about is Jesus and his kingdom. Because somewhere in your life there was a time where you met Jesus face to face. And when that happened you realized with everything inside of you that nothing else on this earth matters. Nothing all that matters is to draw closer to Jesus, is to do his will, is to, to advance his kingdom here on earth until the day comes that Jesus comes to settle everything. So family in Jesus, if that is you this morning, I want to encourage you and motivate you. Carry on, brother. Carry on, sister. Carry on. I know that feeling. There's, you just can't stop talking about Christ and his kingdom. Because we saw it and we heard it. And then, if that isn't you this morning, then I, I want to encourage you as well, brother and sister in Christ. Carry on seeking Jesus. I can guarantee you this morning, he can be found. He can. I can... Testify to that. Jesus is not a man that he will lie. And Jesus said that, that everyone who calls unto the name of the Lord shall be saved. And Jesus said that he will never leave nor forsake us. He's there. So I want to encourage you this morning. If Jesus is not the one that you constantly want to speak about and constantly want to share um, with people about, I want to encourage you, brother and sister in Christ, keep on seeking Him. Keep on. You know, if you've gotten to a point in your life where you don't know how to do it anymore, um, speak, to, speak to one of, of, of our leaders. Speak to one of our elders. Um, come and speak to me. Um, I'm not saying we as humans have all the answers, but family in Jesus, um, I know my elders. And I know that they have found Christ. I know that they are walking the path that Christ has paved for them. So if you, if you are in that position where you just, you don't, you don't know how to reach out anymore. You don't know how to seek Christ anymore. I want to invite you, come and talk to one of them. Come and talk to me. Um, let us together as a family move forward and, and, Carry on touching the cloak of Jesus. Carry on sitting at the feet of our Father. Amen. So if that is you this morning, I want to invite you to pray with me right now. Please, let's pray. <clears throat> Father God, in the name of your Son, Jesus, we thank you for this day, for this week. We thank you, Father God, for the beauty of this day that you have given us and for the beauty of our life, Lord Jesus. We pray this morning, Father God, for every one of our friends and our brothers and our sisters in Christ that is crying out this morning and saying, Lord, that's me. I, I want to seek you more. I, I want to move closer to you. I don't, I, I don't want to be caught up in the things of this world anymore. I need you, Lord. And so if that, if that is them, Father God, and, and, and they are open enough and courageous enough this morning to lift up their hearts and their hands to you. I pray, Father, that you will bless them and that you will call them by name as you already have, Lord, from the womb, that you'll draw them to the cross of Jesus and place them down at your feet, Father God, and just bless them with, 
the anointing and the baptism of the Holy Spirit so that they can further their relationship with you, Lord. I thank you, Father God. Blessed be the name of the Lord, we pray. We ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you, friends and family in Jesus. Um, uh, for those who are watching who have never come to visit us here at Altham Baptist Church, or maybe you have and you haven't been back in, in a while for whatever reason, I want to invite you to come and visit us uh, tomorrow. Come spend some time with us tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Um, we start with worship and then we go over into Word. Um, right after that, um, uh, 6.30 tomorrow night, we have a second service. Um, where 6.30 we start with worship and then we go over into Word. Anybody and everybody is welcome. So please, if, if you want to come and you've got friends or family that's visiting, um, bring them with. If there's children, you can bring the children with. We've got children's church here. Um, so uh, please come and join us tomorrow. Um, if you have a Bible, bring the Bible with. If you don't have a Bible and you want one, um, as soon as you step into the doors tomorrow, um, ask one of our ushers for a Bible or um, come and, uh, and look for me and, and, I, and I'll give you one. Amen. So hopefully we'll see you there tomorrow. Um, and hopefully you have a blessed day today in Jesus name. Amen.